preparation of the budget estimates for the financial year 2024-2025. Honorable Speaker, first I want to thank my committee for having spent time uh, with the Minister of Health, both the State Department for Medical Services and the State Department for Public Health and Professional Standards and its sagas. And I also want to thank the Chair of the Budget Committee together with the Committee of Budget for giving us an opportunity where we are able to sit and present the various uh, committee budget, and more specifically for me presenting the committee, the budget for the Ministry of Health, that is budget line uh, 1082 and 1083. Madam Speaker, when you look at the budget for health, uh, we've done... Uh, under the, we, 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 we did uh, some laws in this year. Among them is the digital health law, the social health insurance law, the primary health care law, and the facility improvement law. Madam Speaker, under the, the social health insurance law, in this budget, we've provided 1.5 billion for emergency, chronic, and critical illnesses. We've also provided $4 billion for primary health care fund, meaning that the, our universal health care is now ready for rolling down because the other contribution for the, social, for the uh, social health insurance uh, authority will be people's, will be contribution from members and also contribution from the public. And therefore, I want to, assure, uh, to reassure the Kenyans that this bill, this uh, budget, has taken care of making sure that we are able to operationalize both the cro emergency, chronic, and critical illnesses with 1.5 billion and the, and the primary health care with 4 billion. Also, in this uh, budget, we've provided money, 2 billion for the Linda Mama program. That is to make sure that our women, when they go and deliver, they are able to be taken care of as we transition to a more comprehensive universal health care. Honorable Speaker, under this law, under this uh, budget, we've also been able to, prov to make sure that the National Cancer Institute is able to be operationalized because one of the biggest challenges in this country has been the issue about addressing the issues of cancer. And therefore, we provided $100 million to operationalize the National Cancer Institute. We've also provided $80 million to the National Cancer Institute to make sure that the established regional cancer institute centers are able to be functional. We have regional cancer center in uh, Mombasa, we have one in uh, Garissa, we have in Nakuru, we also have in Kisi, which is uh, in the process of being uh, built and it will soon be operationalized. And this will address matters about cancer within our country, in addition to the established Kenyatta National Hospital, Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, and the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital. In this budget, Honorable Speaker, we've also provided Kenyatta National Hospital with $450 million to be able to buy another cancer machine, the LINAC machine for radiotherapy. Because when you visit Kenyatta National Hospital with one machine which is now which is functioning, we have many patients who are waiting. That machine is working without stopping and the patients are being put on radiotherapy day and night, 24 hours. And that, exhaust, that makes sure that we have many patients who are on the waiting list. And this makes it very pathetic, very discouraging for many patients who depend on government facilities for treatment. And therefore, by Parliament providing $450 million to Kenyatta National Hospital to buy another LINAC machine for this financial year, then we hope that Kenyatta National Hospital will now reduce the waiting time for patients who are waiting to, for radiotherapy within Kenyatta National Hospital. 
Honorable Speaker, in this budget, we've also made sure that we're going to make sure that the 23 KMTCs, which have been set up by the Honorable Members, will be able to make them operational through employment of, um, more, more of staff, through equipping of those uh, KMTCs, and also through uh, making sure that there is completion of construction. Madam Speaker, uh, this budget, as much as it is had challenges, because initially the budget savings that were put, we had to reduce it by close to 30 percent for all the ministries. And that, I want to uh, say that uh, the ministry should not worry because if the government is able to meet its target in terms of revenue collection, then what it means is that when we will have another supplementary one to address the various caps and challenges that we'll be able to face in the course of the financial year. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I want to support. Thank you. Um, the Honorable Member uh, for the yeah, Honorable David Kangogo, member for Marrakesh East. Honorable Kangogo. Okay, he's busy. Uh, he's not ready. Honorable Tangoya. No, your time passed. Proceed, Honorable Tangoya. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity also to add my support. Uh, to the Budget and Appropriation Committee for a well-done job. So I want really to thank the Chair and the Committee for putting a lot of time to really come up with a very moderate uh, budget. Honorable Speaker, listening to the Chair budget, it is so encouraging to realize that uh, the budget as read has continued to really live to the, to the promise that the Kenya government uh, Kenya Kwanza government uh, promised to Kenyans. More importantly, Madam Speaker, to appreciate is that uh, the budget has continued to really put more emphasis on the matters and sectors that are so crucial and important to the Kenyan people. Uh, to mention, like agriculture, that a lot of emphasis and enhan enhancement has been uh, given to the sector of agriculture to ensure that the Kenya uh, Kenyan people continue to be anger free and it's something notable uh, Madam Speaker that should be appreciated. Uh, it's also good Madam Speaker to note that the budget looked into the consideration of the pastoralist community especially talking into the issue of restocking. It is the first time that we are actually seeing a very good uh, positive direction in looking into the real issues that are uh, affect the Kenyan pastoralist. Madam Speaker, there is also uh, in the sector of security, there is an uh, enhancement into the area of security, which is so crucial to the entire uh, sector of this country, especially when we are handling and tackling the issue of insecurity and cattle wrestling in the North Rift, and actually the issue of bandits in northeastern part of this country. The budget has really taken into consideration, and we want to assure Kenyans that with enhanced budget and provision of the tools of service to our, our, our national police service and our security organs, Kenya is continued to be uh, uh, secure. There is a, a huge budget that has gone into the modernization uh, program and even enhanced in the issue of operations. Madam Speaker, more importantly, there is a sector of government printer. That is a very crucial institution that does a lot of crucial document to this country to mention even the bills we use in this house, the logbooks, the title deeds, and the institution has continued to be in depleted uh, state. My committee had also considered 
and also the committee of budget had also uh, taken consider to add and enhance the budget which will go a long way to ensure that this important institution get back to its feet madam speaker in the budget again within the ministry there is a Bagadi national hospital uh, national police hospital that has been ready and equipped for the last three or four years but has never been able to be used by our security and police officers and uh, in the budget there is a substantial amount allocated to it and it is going to help a big deal to let our police officers get the much needed health services. Madam Speaker, on the issue of electricity, it is very encouraging to note the much consideration that the budget has been given and I'm sure Kenyans are going to go back to enjoy the connectivity which was halted for some time now. Lastly, Madam Speaker, I want also personally to really appreciate that the, Kenya, the budget really mirrors the promise made by the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa, especially when we are talking about the tight state we are as a country, the austerity measures, especially in reducing the bare minimum, the, the, reducing the issue of rain trips so that the money gets to where it's so important to the Kenyan people. So I want to really join the rest of us to really appreciate and commend a well done job. And uh, I'm sure Kenyans are going to enjoy the fruit. I submit, Madam Speaker. The Honourable, the Honourable Member for House, the Honourable Member for the Honourable Johanna Ngeno, Chairperson for Housing and Public Works. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for also allowing me this opportunity to also make uh, my contribution towards this. Uh, um, uh, motion. Madam Speaker, I wish to state clearly that I support the motion. And um, I know very well, Madam Speaker, that uh, this is, these are annual estimates for the financial year 24-25. 